good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is, I don't even know. Anyway, today I have got all of my spaghetti squash that we haven't cooked up yet. That is half of what we produced on two plants last season. And they need to be cooked up and stored in the freezer. And I also wanted to pickle some to see what it tastes like and what it is. Sorry for my throat. It's, we're just gonna have to deal with the voice. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut these up and roast them and then put them in the freezer. So I'm gonna sit you over there while I prep them. Are we zoomed out? Apparently. All right, good job. Beautiful, look at that. Focus. So good, I'll save those seeds for the next time we wanna plant some more. And then we'll have lots and lots and lots and lots. <laughs> Whoa, you're a hard boy. Oh no. All right, we have got some good looking halves right now. So I'm gonna take all the seeds out and pop them face down on this thingy with some olive oil on it, and then you bake them. And they are delicious. People use them as a spaghetti substitute because obviously spaghetti squash, it goes all like stringy in here. And yeah, I'm gonna find other uses for it because I wanna use it multiple things all that jazz anyway let's just de-seed some of these Well, that's three halves, and this container is already choppers. And you put them in water, and then like get the seeds off all the gunk, and the gunk goes in the compost. Delicious. I'll have to look it up, but I'll leave it here for how long and how hot. All that stuff. Stab him with a fork. All right, turns out they both fit in the oven and I think they'll be all right. So I haven't done a workout yet, so I'm gonna do a workout while they cook. <sighs> and hopefully it's the right time. Yes, spaghetti squash, I'm excited. But I can't believe how much came out of it. Look at it, look at it, all the beautifulness. And I've got to like actually go through and collect them all. Yes, so. Workout time. <laughs> all right, arms is done. Oh, now, the timer is about to go off. There it goes. <laughs> Ooh, stupid boy. We have delicious brownness and these are on the bottom so they're not going to be as brown but they should be good. I hope they're done. Oh yeah, squishy. Squishy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, that is how you cook spaghetti squash in the oven. Now I have to wait for them to cool so I might move them onto a chopping board or something so that they can cool down quicker. Oh yeah, check that out. Delicious. 
Outside or something so they cool down. <laughs> anyway, when they've cool down, I'll come back and I will show you me shredding them. And it is all good. Oh, my shoulders. Alright, I just pulled this little layer off one of the edges. It'll be very olive oily. It is, but it's delicious. Anyway, so they're like string apart. And Yum. <laughs> that wasn't good. Okay, so spaghetti squash is quite like juicy, so I'm gonna like put it on this and let it like strain a bit until I put it into a container. So we'll see how this goes. Not too sure. Grab. Hopefully it's not too hot to hold. Oh yeah, it is warm. Okay, not that one. So stringy, stringy. Yeah, it's like once you like. Probably overcooked it. It's a bit smushy. I don't know right now. Hot. Make sure it goes in the container. Look, delicious stringiness. Mhm. Mm so good. Anyway. That is how you put them in a container, isn't that something? Okay, so I've strained these and they still have lots of liquid in them. The level of liquid in this one. Like I've just recently strained that like two seconds ago when it's already full. So grandma and granddad probably get like two dinners each with one of those. I've got a lot in here because I want some for dinners and I also want to pickle like most of it. So that's my one, that's theirs. So literally five spaghetti squashes Gave us all this. It is delicious. Okay. I'm going to now separate the seeds from their juiciness and look up again how to figure out which seeds are good and which aren't. I know it's like they either sink or they float. Pretty sure this was the baby one. So I don't know how well its seeds are going to be. Oh, it just like oozes out. Look at that. Can we see it? Can we focus with my dirty finger? No, focus on the pulp. Okay, good. So they just like fully squeeze out. Look at that. Delicious. So I sort of went like, if you see a flat one that you would expect wouldn't have anything in it, then you just sort of like chuck it because there's heaps of babies in here and they have nothing in them. are all of the seeds they're delicious so i'll have to go through them and pick out the flat ones that don't have anything in them but there's lots and lots oh so many all right here's all the seeds i will have to go through to pick out all of the flat ones with nothing in them like that one there it go And yeah, oh my god, this one's popping out. What the heck? 
very strange. <laughs> anyway, they're all smooth and slimy. But yeah, like all these like flat ones are not part of it. But anyway, I'll go through them and count them all and see how many we have. And that's our girl. Anyway, Daniel's just gone to the shop to get me some vinegar because I want to pickle them some. But we need vinegar. So I grabbed two jars. I was going to grab two of these, but I thought maybe too much, but yeah, I don't know. Here, actually, the tuna I had the caramelized onion with garlic and something else. It's on the table just there. It was delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was expecting something really gross, and it was really good. Okay. the same as sugar. Oh. Just a big pinch. Salt. Oh, sugar. Just try to gauge maybe just over half of the empty space. Like obviously this one's going to be a bit easier to see. This one it's sort of like, I don't know how much it's going to sink in, but because it's got so much in it. Yeah. One and cheap. two. Carry. And then lid on for how long? I'd leave it for at least a day. Pickle pickles. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna do pickles. Pickled spaghetti squash. I'll taste it tomorrow and see how it is. And yeah. Okay, we have a tractor going in the background, but I have my overnight pickled spaghetti squash. So let's give it a shot, see how it tastes. Oh my god, if I can get it open. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. Pickled spaghetti squash. Let's test it. Cool. Oh my god, look at that. It's so good. Can we see? Can we focus? Probably not. Yeah, that is really good. Like on a salad or a salad sandwich or just eating it like this. Mmm. If you love vinegar, obviously, it is the best. That is my pickled spaghetti squash. And yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Mm. So that is my pickling spaghetti squash, making spaghetti squash, all that jazz. If you liked it, please give it a like for me because it helps support my channel and subscribe for more stuff that I do. I would love that. So. Yes, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.